Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today I'm going to do a plan with me video for you. I'm going to use the new Keep It Super Simple Planner from Pink Punch Studio and a couple of her other kits as well. Uh, this new planner came out and I've been playing with it all week. It's a lot of fun. It's also known as the Kiss Planner um, for Keep It Super Simple. And then I'm going to decorate my page with some Illusion of Organization stickers from the Chic Cheetah set. So let's get started. Uh, this is what most of the pages in the planner looks like. It's just a clean slate so you can do anything you want with it, which is why it's so much fun. This little coffee cup here takes you to just a hot page. Uh, you can put whatever you want on it. I've just got some stickers that I use all the time here. It's just right at the back of the book. And then this link takes you to the year at the page, little decorations on this page. Um, so today we're going to work on February week four. So I just clicked on the link and it took me right to the page. Um, you can see it's totally blank. So we're going to set our weekly up here. So some of the other pink punch sets, this is the neutral desk set. It's got some really great elements that I like to use for this. So let's grab the cork board and we'll just stick it. This is going to have most of my week on it, or well, my whole week. So I want it to take up most of the page. I'm just going to stick it there. I like to use this calendar or this little notepad for like a mini desk calendar. We'll put it there and this notepad will be handy as well. Put some more stuff on. So I'm going to put it there and we can sort of move things around as we need to while we're planning. So then this set came out this week and it's super cute. It's some fairly realistic desk accessories. Um, so I'm going to take the cup and the plant right off the bat and I'm just going to put them right on top of the cup and plant that are already here. These ones are just a bit bigger and brighter. They add a bit more fun to the page. We'll do that for now. We can keep moving things around to make them fit as we go. I also love this little heart here. It's a paper clip dish, which I think is really cute. And it'll fit in this little spot perfectly. And then we can fill it up with some paper clips. So I like to just put a couple in the way they came, but then we'll change the angle on a few so that it looks like a more realistic pile. There we go. So now we have like a little paper clip bowl it's all full of all of our little clips. It's a lot of fun. So there's different things, stapler, calculator, mouse, glasses, and some different notepads. I think I'm going to take the pen because I like the pen. And I think that's all I'm going to need from this set. I'll just put the pen there for now. So I'm just going to close that set because we're done with it. Um, then there's this leopard pouch set, which is a lot of fun. 
um, and I thought it would kind of work with the cheek, chic, how do you say it, chic cheetah set uh, that I'm going to use. So I don't know if you've seen these pouches before, but you take the bottom of the pouch and you put it down. And then you can fill it up with whatever things you want to put in there, just as if it was like an irregular pencil case. And there's some fun stuff. I like this little pen with the pom-pom and this little glitter pen is pretty. So we'll stick these in here and just sort of play with the angles a little bit. So it looks like a messy pouch of pens. Maybe we can take one of these little paper clips and stick them in here as well to tie the sets together. There we go. Um, you can see I put this black pen down before I put the pouch down so it doesn't look like it's in the pouch. It looks like it's behind the pouch. So we're going to pick it up. I'm just going to move it to a blank space here. If I say cut and paste, now it changes its layer and so now it is on top of the back of the pouch. I also really like this pen in the neutral set. So let's grab it and stick it in the pouch as well. Now the this set that I'm going to use, it has um, some pens as well, so I think to tie the set together we'll grab a couple of these ones and stick them in here too. And we'll have some good blending of the different sets we're using so it sort of ties them together. So once we've filled it up with whatever we feel like filling it up with, then we go back to our pouch here and we grab the top layer and you put it on top. So you need to size it so it's the same size as the bottom. You want it to look as realistic as possible. And then I just line the zippers up. There we go. So now it looks like all of your pens are falling out of the pouch. And I'm going to grab this whole thing and resize. And I'm just going to put it on an angle. We've got everything else on an angle here. So I'm just going to do that. Maybe pull this one out a bit. There we go. So we've got our little pouch of pens and pencils. So we're setting up kind of a realistic desk set here. It's some fun. And now we're going to start doing our planning with the cheetah set. So this set has a lot of great elements. It's got all the, the days of the week. It's got these little boxes. So I was thinking I could use these boxes for my one for each weekday. So I need seven, so let's grab these six, and we need one more. So I'm going to grab seven of them. I'm going to copy that and go back to the desk calendar. Now I want to put them on top of this clipboard, but because the clipboard is a sticker, if I move things around, um, it's going to drag everything. So I'm going to just go over to my blank page, and I'm going to paste these here. Um, and just do my resizing and repositioning to how I think I'm going to want it on the cork board. So I'm just trying to space out the boxes the same distance apart from each other. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And now we'll just grab this whole batch and cut it and paste it. So 
if we just put the boxes on the cardboard here, um, they kind of blend in. They don't really stand out that much. So I'm going to undo and undo. I'll just make sure. So they're sitting there waiting for us. So now what I want to do is I want to put um, like a piece of paper down on the cork board. So I'm going to use this uh, notepad again that we already used. But you wouldn't normally pin a notepad pad to a bulletin board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop off those rings. And just So you've got rectangle and free hand. So I'm going to do the rectangle crop. I'm just going to drag this down to right below the rings. And now it looks like something you might pin to your bulletin board. And I want it just slightly skewed from the bulletin board because you never actually get it exactly right in real life. And then I'm going to grab this little thumbtack here. In our paper in place. There we go. So we still have that kind of realistic effect going on. So now let's go back and grab the boxes that we arranged. We'll cut that. And we just need to pa paste it on. So I want the boxes as big as I can have them. So I have as much room as possible for planning. Try to line this one up so it's not skewed. There we go. We still have some blank spaces that we can decorate, but we have a box for every day. So let's put some dates on them. I think I'm going to use these little squares here. We'll copy that and bring it over. Now if we keep them in the group, we can resize them all together. I'm just going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. I think I'll just put them on the top corner with just a little bit of an overlap on each box. Make sure they're straight. I think that looks good. Now we can just move around to where we need them. I'm trying to do them all. Let's zoom in, we can see. So they just stick out a little bit on the top and the left side here. And I'm just trying to make them all positioned about the same. go so now we have our days of the week so let's go back and next week starts on the 17th so I need the 17th through to the 23rd so I'm going to grab those days bring them over and again we'll just zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing These stickers have a circle on them, so I'm just trying to fit these little date covers into that circle. So once I have it the size and angle I want, then I can just let go and position them where I need them. Right, so now we have our week set up. We still have these blank spots. Um, so let's see what we have to decorate with. Anything's catching my eye. Oh, I really like these little cheetah print dots. I think 
I'm gonna put them here on the bottom of the cork board. position them somewhere I like. There we go. I like that. This little confetti sticker is one of my very favorite. It's like a transparent with all the little dots. It kind of matches that sticker I used on the Thursday. So I think I'm going to put it here. at the top of our weekly that works but now the layering isn't quite right for this thumbtack so I'm just going to drag it up to a blank spot cut paste and put it back on top love it okay what else have we got I like this sticker here I think it's a good sticker like this one says it's a good day for a good day today's the day but since I'm not doing a daily I'm doing a weekly I think these other ones are better and I think this good things happen to those who hustle it's a good motivator for the week let's put it here there we go so um I want to put something here like that says to do or this week um the this set doesn't have any words like that that I'm looking for, but the new set that came out today from Random Scraps, it's uh, called Mint Mist. It's these really pretty stickers. They don't match my theme, but it's got a lot of really good day uh, word stickers. So I'm going to grab the word this week, and I'm going to paste it here. I think it's actually like a really dark navy or purple, but I can't really tell. It works. There we go. And I'm going to go back to that set, and there's this one here. It says tracker. So I'm going to put that on this little notepad here. So I'm going to put my trackers here. So do that. So that's all we need from that set. And I still have a bit of space I can decorate, so what do we want to use? <laughs> I think I like these arrows. Oops, I did cut instead of copy, so we'll just do an undo there. Copy. Managed to get more than I needed. So I'll delete that one. Just do edit resize here. And there, that fills that in really nicely. Okay, so for this little calendar, I like to put in a mini calendar. And J. Flynn Designs had a really great $2 Tuesday set uh, earlier this year. So it's got these mini calendars with a pretty font for the month, or it's just a nice simple one. And then they have all these little washies and months so that you can design your own mini calendar if you need to. I've already got my base with the pink punch notepad. So I'm just gonna grab February here and just zoom in first so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just gonna paste it Make it as big as I can. And we'll just line it up. I think that's a bit too big. I think we're too close to the bottom. So we'll just center it on there. So now what I like to do, if I'm doing a daily, I circle the day that I'm using. And if I'm doing a weekly, I'll highlight the whole week. So we're going to use the highlighter. You can pick different colors. Um, I think this green will work with the layout. Now, for your highlighter, you can choose draw in a straight line, and it will straighten out your line so it doesn't look all shaky. So I'm going to highlight from the 16th to the 22nd. 
so it makes a nice straight line, but I don't like the positioning of it. So instead of doing undo and redoing it, I'm going to turn off images on my lasso and I'm going to grab it and just move it up and center it to where I want it to be. And I'm just going to turn that back on. There, so now I have my week highlighted. So for my trackers, I use the same trackers every week. Uh, so instead of building it each week, I just copy the one that I used before. Uh, so I've got those saved on my little hot link here. So we'll just tap the coffee cup and it's going to take me over here. So these are the trackers that I use. The trackers are from Ink and Pine. She has a huge set with like 70 different colors of trackers. It's really great. Um, these are the things I track each week. These little icon stickers that I've decorated with are from Lenny Digitals. They're just from an assortment of different sets that she's made. Um, I love them because even though it's sort of a pinkish color, it's still fairly neutral and it doesn't interfere with any of the spreads that I use it on. Sometimes I, I don't want a black tracker, I want a different color to coordinate better with my layout, so I'll use a different one, but typically black is the most used one for me. It always matches the best. So now I'm going to tap, so I've cop copied those, and I tap on the plant to take me back to my year at a and then I'm going to go back to week four in February. And I'm going to paste these trackers down on this little notebook I set up for them. I'll just position that. There we go. So it's all coming together. Now I just get to plan my week. So into the little boxes that we made. Um... Before I do that, when I was looking at stickers, I saw these little paper clips here, and I thought they were pretty cute. So I'm going to grab these paper clips, and I'm going to bring them over. I like these ones with the metal ring on them. So I'm going to put one here on my tracker page, and I'm going to put this one in the bowl to use for later <laughs> just kind of just like we put the pins in the pouch from the different sets just to tie them together I'll do the same thing with the paper clips in the bowl and then the leopard pouch set had some some really cute paper clips too I want to grab this bow and I'm going to pin it onto here because it's super cute there we go so we've got some different decorations. So I think we're done with our widgets and we're done with our pouch. I'm not sure if we'll still need the cheetah ones. We'll hang on to that. We're done with the mini calendars. All right. Now, Illusion of Organization brought out these sets a few weeks ago. Um, there's three different bundles and each one has three different colors of icons. Uh, which I love for just quick at a glance reminders of what I need to do. So I think this color is going to work the best with my spread. There's some other colors, uh, some bright pinks and yellows and blues. Uh, you can check them out in her shop. For now, I'm going to use this one because I think it'll coordinate the best. So I'm just going to look through at each of the images until I find one that I need. Here's this one with the person. Here, let me zoom in so you can see. It's got this little person with all doing all the things... I'm not really sure what it's meant to be, but it's what I think of my housekeeper doing when she comes to my house. She brings her bag of cleaning supplies, and she cleans my whole house. And that's every Wednesday, so I'm just going to stick that here on Wednesday. Now, what else have we got that we might need? Groceries. I generally go grocery shopping on the weekend. So let's do, I think we'll go Saturday, we'll put the little grocery icon down. What else do I have? I have a dentist appointment, my son and I both have a dentist appointment this week on the 20th. What is that? That's Thursday. So let's stick that in for us. Perfect. Alright, what 
else do we have? Laundry I do on Sundays. Garbage day is Tuesdays. These icons are so perfect for organizing my week. Oh, I missed this one. I water my plants on Saturdays. I try to. My plant I'm not a good guard green thumb person. My plants my boyfriend teases me that I just buy plants to kill them. He's not wrong. They look nice at least until <laughs> until they've had enough of my care. I'm going to take Tyler to movies tomorrow because it's a holiday. I thought that would be something fun to do. Oops, I grabbed more than just the movie sticker, so we'll grab that, delete it, and then we'll go back to the movie sticker. There we go. So we're going to see Sonic. Um, what else do we have? Fridays are my Weight Watchers weigh-in day. Oh, I did it again. Put that there. I think there's a sticker for everything I do. Oops, I hit delete instead of copy. Undo. Copy. Here's a little reminder for next Sunday for me to do a video for you guys. The little YouTube icon. Thursdays are my meditate day. There we go. It's a pretty busy week. I've got at least one icon every day and two on others. So I think that's everything. I'll just take a scan through and see if anything else catches my eye. It's a pretty useful set. So now some of these days the icon's not enough um, to remind me what I need to do. Like I want to know that my dentist appointment is at four o'clock on Thursday, not just that I have an appointment. So I'm gonna grab this little doohickey. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in and do close detail work. So I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna resize it so it just uses up a small amount of space on my thing. So that's about the angle and the size I want. So I'm gonna paste it here in a blank space and then I'm just gonna copy. Onto each one and I'm doing a blank space so that when I copy, I don't grab all the other stickers that I've already positioned so carefully and mess them up. Alright, so I've got one left, so I'm going to grab this one. And just drag it down to my last box here. Here we go. So, now all the different things that we need to do. I'm going to use my text box. And on Saturday, Tyler has winter camp with scouts. So obviously that's too big and the wrong angle. So I'm gonna use my lasso. I'm gonna turn off images again and I'm gonna grab just the font and I'm gonna resize it to the size that I want and make it the angle that I want. And position it where I need it. Um, 
All right, so now I have it how I want it. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna use it everywhere else. So Thursday, I'm gonna take this, paste it and position it. And I'm gonna use the text tool. And I'm just gonna delete and then put in what I need. And this way, all of my words are going to be the same angle and the same size throughout the whole planner instead of having a whole bunch of different things. Um, that way it just looks a little bit more cohesive. So Wednesdays are busy. Tyler has soccer at 5.30. And then he has scouts at 6.30. This week he's going swimming. Cubs at pool. Oops. Let's just stretch that bigger so it fits. All right. So now I have one last thing that I like to do. I'm going to go back to the last page and leave that link on the coffee cup there and I'm gonna grab these stickers which I haven't used yet I don't need the yellow one there's no guild meeting this week so we need to turn the images back on and we'll grab these stickers and so now we'll Go back to the plant in February week four. And we'll paste these down and start positioning them. So those are the logos for Scouts and Soccer. So we'll stick them on Scouts and Soccer Day and the Weight Watchers logo. So all of these little logos, I just found PNG's files on the internet and saved them. Now I have my little reptiles here and feeding time. I'm just going to zoom in so when I drag these it doesn't change the dimensions of them. All right. So, snake feeding day is on Sundays. And again, these stickers are from Mini Digitals. You'll see they match the ones on the tracker. It's a nice neutral color. Oop. <laughs> Grab more than I meant to there. So I feed my snakes on Sundays. The geckos get fed every third day. So I fed them today, or I will be. So we need to do it on Wednesday. There's my week. So again, I thanks for watching and I will post all the links in the description so you can find anything. Feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you get notifications when I post a new video, which hopefully will be next Sunday as long as everything goes as planned. So I hope you had fun and that's everything for today. Bye!